I feel like as a producer and DJ, everybody's always like looking for the next thing. I think that dance music is, there's so many genres and subgenres like spanning off and stuff, you always have to be on top of it. Hi, I'm Henry Fong and I am a dance music DJ and producer. It's one of those things that kind of just started out as a, a normal job. I was, I was DJing in college bars back when I went to school at UCF in Orlando and I was just DJing like top 40 hip hop and stuff like probably three or four nights a week and then one of those nights I ended up starting a dance music night and it was like the first dance music night at the college. Promoted myself and everything with me and another friend and then after like doing that night I only wanted to play dance music at all my nights but it just didn't work out that way. A lot of the clubs were just like, you know, just really mainstream and stuff and the dance music didn't work well in those clubs. I definitely got fired a lot from clubs because I was just playing only dance music. It just hit this point where I, I realized like, I, if I want to actually be a DJ and just play dance music, I have to learn how to produce. So then I made the move from Orlando to LA, started networking with some other producers and just really just focused on putting out good music and stuff. About 2008 or so, I started listening to like Justice, Mastercraft, Crookers, like really like kind of grungier electro, and that really is what drove me to kind of have the electro sound I have now, I think. Single players, I don't know how to put it, I mean, they're just basically one of those household names in the scene. They were the first ones that really, really understood that simple tracks work on the dance floor. And I think I've taken that and I've worked it into the way I produce music. A lot of times, like, the simpler the better. So I think that's, that's had a big influence on me. It, it was very hard to, like, kind of break into that scene where, you know, DJs are supporting you and playing your stuff and wanting to, like, sign your tracks and stuff. It, it, it takes a long time and they were just really supportive. I did a track with my buddy Mike Hawkins and Pablo. We sent it over to them and they liked the track. So that was the first track I signed with Hysteria. And then did another track with them and I sent them music and they've always supported my stuff. <laughs> Remembrance, I think this is gonna be really special tonight since it's dedicated to Paul. A lot of the guys that he was bros with, they're all gonna come pay their respects tonight and show, show their support. Stand up. I think one way or another, they're just all like good friends and like part of the family. For example, my buddy Mac J is playing too. He's had releases on Hysteria and Bass Shackers. These guys are awesome. Chucky, Tommy Trash. Those guys have been good friends with the bingo players and they were also, you know, good friends with Paul as well. The Remembrance Party is in honor of Paul Brahma from Bingo Players, who passed away recently. Both the boys from Bingo Players uh, have been, you know, friends of mine over the oh, many, many years, six, seven years. They basically, I guess one night, they stopped me from getting dragged into the red light district in uh, Amsterdam when I was blackout drunk. And I always say, you know, last night, Bingo Players saved my life. <laughs> these two tracks, uh, Devotion and When I Dip. When I Dip was cool because it had these like horns, it's just a super clubby record. Any, any gig I had, I could play it and it, it just like set off this like party vibe. And that was the first song I think I heard of theirs that I really was like, I, I just love their style of production. Stand up. I feel like this time of the year is a good time to get like creative inspiration. Like you see all these other artists, you hear, you're hearing all this new music. There's just so much going on that I feel like after this, like I just can't wait to go home in the studio and just kind of like let it all out and back, back into the music. I just want to keep evolving as a producer and just, you know, really, really find like a, kind of like a new sound, I guess, you know?